just like my headset. My headset, if I unplug this, it's going to give me a different sound if I plug a different headset in here. I'm going to hear two different things. I know that. So, so when people compare, you got to plug in different things. Let me hear that sound when it's coming out of your TV. Now, plug some a, a system to it or a, a sound thing to it. You're going to hear the difference. I can hear that on my TV. So, it's like, I don't know, I don't know that man's setup. I don't know that. I'm not knocking the plane. I, to me, it does. I fly the plane. I love the plane. I don't listen to, because bickering's gonna come. Oh, they should have did this, and that should have did that, and this don't do this. And I don't. I, I like to. I like to listen to people like A330, who talks about the airplane, who says, "Yeah, this is fantastic." Well, this is the, the. He doesn't compare, or he doesn't minimize, or add to it. He gives it to you what he sees. Those are the ones I like to follow because that's the type of stuff that I want to hear. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if it's someone talking bad about, let's say it could be, uh, if it's. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, nah, nothing's perfect. Yeah, nothing's perfect. Right, so now we know it's two people that mentioned this. It's two people that, that we know of, because when you're saying they, it, it made it seem like it's a, it's a crowd out there, like, I haven't seen that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, who, black box, one person? Uh, nah, doubt that. They got, that, that dude, Rod, got it. He, he got his team together. He, these, he, he got a team that he pays. Don't get me wrong. He li he got the public lit li watching what, but but he got a team that like every. And I guarantee you, everything that they did this triple seven that ain't got nothing to do with black box. Ain't got nothing to do with a three thirty. That got something to do with his team. Cause when this when this plane was released, it was released. You know what I'm saying from his team. He didn't have beta testers like, hey, let me shoot. Just come back to me. Tell me. He's got people on the team that he's paying to do that. Yeah, but that's stuff that, okay, all right. Okay, that's what he said. Black box said that. Right. Yeah, I know who he is. I I know who he is. No, that ain't Chris Hop. But if you pull back the throttle, the nose is gonna come down. <laughs> you do that. Put it. Pull the nose back in the plane. The nose will come down. Now, but you're listening to Black Box, like he said, I did that, and PMDG went back and turned around and fixed that and did all that other stuff. PMDG was already in development. All this stuff like that. They handed people the plane. Okay, let's say they handed the people. When, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Them people that they're playing, that they're paying, that's on his board, that he paid, 
that, you know, the captains and stuff like that, they're doing all the tryouts and doing all the tests and all them all. Of when they hand that stuff out, for example, when they hand that, hey, try that out. They already have their team that that this guy is is um you know pain and stuff like that. Hold on, hold on one second. Hey. Okay. All right, all right, I'm back. Welcome to. And and right now, like for example, I just noticed he said he flies the 787. So you got to be a triple seven pilot, okay? Now this is what I've learned. What what captains? Captains. Um, when I when when um when I saw videos, they talk about now. When I say they, I'm talking about the ones that fly the particular plane. A captain, he's an older white guy, kind of beard. Uh, and he was talking. He says a captain says. You gotta know, identify the plane that you know. You can't. And, that, and what made me look at that is when I just saw what he says. Cap, uh, this black box guy, he flies the 787. So if you're not, if you never been a captain of a, no, he's. A, I'm looking at it right now. What he's flown, he's the captain of a 787. If okay, he's flown the 787. Okay. He's not, he's, he's not a, okay, he, right, right. You can get a rating, you can get a rating in a, in an aircraft, but if you haven't physically flown it, then, then, you know what I mean? It's just a rating. Um, but he, he says he's a real world captain of a 787. So basically, um, uh, da, 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 and I'm already 787. He's been doing flight. He, uh, uh, he, he has followed along the flight simulator develop, development since 1982. So, okay. So from that point on right there, now you gotta, you gotta look at the 777-300. Now, have you been rated in the 777-300? It's a lot of, it's a lot of things more than, um, what what um you know that captain uh what's his name I can't think of his name the one that talks about the seven three seven and he talks about the Airbus and he breaks them planes down he breaks how the fundamentals of learning them to, them to particular airplanes that's why I I'm looking at the ratings and I'm like okay a seven eighty seven that's like asking Ben telling Ben something Ben could say I'm rate yeah I'm rated in the seven fifty seven but Ben, you flown a seven fifty seven? No, I'm just I'm rated in it, but I, I really I really a pilot would tell you I really don't know nothing about that airplane because I haven't been in it to know um what that plane physically would do. You thinking you thinking when he did it in, in BMDG fix it because he listened to Xbox seven eleven. That's what that's what you're saying. Yeah, he, he contacted BMG and BMG fixed it because Black Xbox said it. That's how you saying it. Okay, but how do you know PMDG didn't even fix that already? But he's thinking he getting the credit for that. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I got you. No, what what I'm saying to you is this. So, so hypothetically, if Rick contacted what's the name and said. Yeah, I told them to fix this in Fear Factor, and he and then and then he comes back and says, "Yeah, they fixed that because I contacted them." But so now you believe Rick said it? Oh, because oh damn, thank you, Rick, being that you told them that they fixed that. Because watch this: if you send an email out, right, to 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 let's say right now, you send an email out to uh, a company. Right. Let's say hypothetically the challenger. You saw that it was a mishap in the challenger, right? But behind closed doors, they were already fixing that problem anyway. But once you send an email out to them, hey, this needs to be done. Shortly after that, you see it fixed, right? Through an update or something. You're gonna automatically assume, oh man, they heard me out. I did that, but they were already doing that. But in your mind, you was like, well, damn, since I sent that email out, they fixed it because I told them that. 
That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. Now, Rick don't even fly PMDG. But one thing that man did say is PMDG never, ha they, they don't half step on certain shit. They on the, they on a pack burner and they are, they'll fix shit as they, as they working things out and they do this and the third. They got things that they, that the team that he said, they never, they never, um, come this, like this oriented. They step out there, they step in damn near, damn near correct. You know what I mean? And they got that, and he got his, he has his team that take care of his stuff. Now, by letting them, by letting them, sh by letting him, sh you know, getting that share, because just like, just like Factor right now, um, Factor is already in the background working on so much stuff right now. You don't think that they're getting um, text messages and emails, you need to fix this. I'm not. No, no, no. They're, and they're doing it. What I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying, Frank. They are doing that. They just giving it to you guys early to let you guys, you know, here, try this out. But they got their team working on the, the hiccups and the mistakes. They know what they're doing. They just letting you guys get a little taste of it. No, oh no, oh no! I don't think that. No, no, no! I don't think that. What I, what I'm saying is, when they released that factor plane, right? These guys got people in place to know. For example, for example, hypothetically speaking, I build a plane, right? Let's say me and you are developers. We put a plane out there. We want y'all to try it. The landing lights don't come on, but me and you know that. <laughs> That's why we got Billy doing the landing lights. We know the landing lights don't come on when you click on. We, we, me and you know that. Billy's doing. Billy's working on it. But A330 emails you and me and say, "Hey, the plane is nice, but if it's not supposed to dip like that, um, in the landing lights supposed to come on." We know that already. Billy's working on that. <laughs> So now it didn't fly right. It was just it was just a dip. Now it didn't fly right. I'm just tr figuring out it didn't it didn't fly right. Now now one thing PMDG don't do. PMDG ain't gonna give you no shit that's fucked up. They're not gonna that Rob stands on that. The owner. The hell. Let's take let's take all them guys out. I'm talking to the owner when he says it out of his mouth. We don't release nothing. Nothing. That is not. Was it released? Was it released? No, no. Was it released? That was... <laughs> okay. It wasn't released. Because I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care who it is. Nobody, nobody had that... that it, nobody filmed anything from the PMDG. Nobody. Until it was released. PMD. Them pictures that you saw... 
PMDG released those pictures. Nobody, it wasn't no X-Plane 11, it wasn't no XP-72, nobody in the industry had nothing on this 777, but PMD. Uh, I'm talking about, I'm, no, 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 flying it, PMDG, only PMDG, from the stuff that we saw, you did not, you, well, this is what I'm saying, you did not, Frank. I'm answering your question. You just said it didn't fly right. I said PMDG has never ever released a plane. I said had ev never released a plane that did not work right. And yes, I will say this: the dip it ain't got shit to do with no develop none of these people that they issued the plane to. I'm trying to tell you that these these guys got people on the board that does this they pay real pilots that do this i'm not when i say they got pilots on a they got it rod will tell you look at his views he got not pilots who's retired or don't work no more he's got captains that's physically flying today in them planes when he developed he will tell you that not no i ain't been in the in the seat for years he's got people on his board who's physically flying them like like ben like ben ben is flying right now in a 737 right now that's who he be having on his board. <laughs> I ain't this, this guy ain't been in the fucking plane in what? How long? He, he he's been doing this since 1992. I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking him because I haven't. I'm just saying. Again, Rod would tell, Rod will tell you. He says my paid staff will tell you out of his mouth. It's his paid staff that handles his stuff. People on his staff that's paid will tell you that. That's out of the owner's mouth. So I'm just saying, if he's the owner, and I'm telling you, if, that's like the challenger. Somebody saying something about the challenger. If that owner is saying something, then I'm not, I can't go with nobody else is saying, um, hey, uh, oh yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, but if that's what you, but but that's like hearing me saying Blue Games, uh, they hired Blue Games and Blue Games started working on the on the factory. If I hear it, I'm like, hey man, Blue Games, man, he 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 did some designing. Seven eighty seven. Seven eighty seven. I just looked him up. He that's not even on his agenda. He says he's. He's not, he's not, that guy is rated 787, man. I just looked him up. <laughs> he has nothing saying 777 on him. 787. <laughs> I just looked him up. 787. 787 is all, 787 is all on the hip. That's all it is. Just like, um, Frank, I just looked the guy up. What are you telling me? It's 787. It's nothing saying triples. I'm not taking that. Well, I know, I know, I know A330 is a 737 pilot, and the other one is the Airbus pilot. No, I don't. Well, that's like you getting defensive with, 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 um, my, with, with X Plane. You don't, you, 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 you back X Plane up so, like, X Plane is, uh, X Plane, X Plane. You do. But I don't say nothing about it. I, I don't say, I, I just say, okay. No, what I'm saying, Frank, I, I agree with you. What? Uh, 
no, no, how you said it was, how you said it was, he saw the dipping. He saw the dipping. And, and I cut the throttle on the, on the whistle, and that triple seven nose do still dip. Talk about it. It does. When you cut that throttle, it's going to dip. That's what cutting the that's what cutting the throttle is. I don't know about that. Uh, the triple the point is easy. They, they don't. They, and, and, I, and I'm going to tell you something. If you explain that, if if you said that same thing to Rick, I guarantee you Rick will tell you PMDD themselves, Rod himself will tell you no. No, if it's gonna dip like that, they will fix that. Okay. Listen to me. You said, look, look at how you changed it. You said it dipped in a way that it wasn't. Rob would not even. Rob, <laughs> Rob would not even put no plan. Rob would not even need no no person who's beta testing to tell him that. If he see a plane dip, it was just dipping out of the. You said. It was dipping in a way that ain't way is supposed, supposed to. Rob and his team would have known that. Don't don't you know they got their own beta testers that take that plane up, and they do the testing. Rob had videos with the seven three seven. They and he and even in that video he was talking with the seven three seven nine hundred when it released. He said, "We got a guy that takes our planes up. We test it." We test the angles. We test the ailerons. We test the banking. We test the. This is Rob when he was in the airplane flying it. All right. I'm just saying what Rob said. I'm just saying he's the owner. I'm just. I'm just saying he's the CEO. He's the CEO. But Frank, when you say release, when you say release, when you say release, talking release, that's release like to a guy like me, or to a guy like you, or to a guy like your next door neighbor. Because they got a team. They PMDG got a team. <laughs> PMDG been doing this for years. They've been doing this for years. Oh, so oh oh so he helped them he so he helped he watch this. Watch this. PMDG's been doing triple sevens for years. So he helped he helped in P D three too, huh? It was dipping, huh? Oh he helped in FSX too, huh? They've been doing this for years about the plane leveling and all that. This ain't they, first of all, this ain't PMDG first rodeo on a triple seven. <laughs> this ain't PMDG first rodeo on a plane. They've been out for years. They've been out for years. So they've been asking, they've been out for years and he's been having a staff for years. So this one, look, look, this one time, I got to write this down. This one time, it had a certain dip. <laughs> All these triple sevens they done made over the years. Oh no, PMDG don't know what they're doing. It's got a dip. <laughs> <laughs> no, you saying that? <laughs> you, you said no. I'm a no, no, no. I'm, I'm no, no. I see. I'm saying it in the words of another man saying it that way. They don't. Oh, they don't know what I'm talking. I'm talking in your words because you talk about this one guy, this one triple seven, out of all these years, has finally got a dip it, that, that don't even look right. That the look finally got a. They've been doing this shit for years, but they finally got a dip. Did it? No. What the fuck happened was he probably emailed just like everybody else, and they was already working on their shit, just like you doing right now. You're beta testing, right? They better test it. These guys already got, and I'm defending uh, a factor, whatever their name is. I'm defending them. They're going to get so many emails in because people trying it out. Well, why don't you get this to work? Why don't you get that to work? They're already working on shit. And the, they already got, and it ain't because of y'all emailing them. It's because factor already doing that shit anyway because they know it needs to be done. It ain't because of you or, or the next door neighbor emailing them, hey, you need to hit this switch right because blah, 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 blah. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, my email worked. No, they were already doing it. I'm, I got, I got, I'm, I'm, I got common sense to know this. Yeah, they're responding to email. So right now, if I email Factor, and I say, "What's not working on it right now?" On that Factor, if you tell me something and I put my input in there, that shit starts working. I might as well get credit. Hey, Frank, they listen to me. Remember, you said your data button wasn't working. It's working now. I emailed them. It's working. So I'm need I'm gonna need to get credit for that. They listen to me. 
I helped the factor. I helped factor. <laughs> I I help factor because your your button they they got my email working because I because I told them it wasn't working. But they were already knowing that the data button don't work. They already had a team. Because when I put my, because I'm quite sure when they person put their mouse over the data button and they try to push it in, it didn't work. I'm quite sure they knew that already. It didn't take, they the ones that's putting it together. They don't need me to email them to say if I press on to the data button, it's not working. It's their plane. <laughs> They annihilate that. Even the developers, they do. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, go ahead. And I know that. And 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 I know they knew that though. I know they knew that because. No, no, listen. No, no, no. Listen, to that. because that's what they're fixing. Because we before they release the plane, they're just letting guys. Let's say, for example, PMDG knew you, right? Hey, Frank, we're gonna give you our our plane. It's not ready yet. We still got our guys working on it. Because they're gonna tell you that. They're gonna tell you that we got our guys working on it. But you guys can take a peek at it if you want. But um, we're gonna be updating it and um and um. You'll be getting updates as well, but we got our team working on it. And then blah 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 blah. I'm quite sure Rob said that because he got his own team, right? Now, once he gives you the plane, you're trying it out just as you're trying to factor out right now. They're already working on stuff in the background, like you said. Things are not going to happen so what's the name so quickly because it's called updates. Why you think fly by wire with that A330? They didn't release it yet. They didn't even release it yet because they're still putting it together. They know things are going on. They know this and know that. Even the guy that was um at, at the expo, the guy in the background from Fly By Wire, he was talking about, and I, I was trying to hear him too because the guy was asking him questions. There was noise in the background. He was like, yeah, we got to go back. We got to do this, and we got to do that, and we got to tweak that, and we got to fix this right here. He already knew the problems because he says – we got to tweak this and that right there because when you click on that, this blah, blah, he they know that already. But yet, but yet, but yet, it was still at the expo for people to jump in the seat and fly. And I'm quite sure there are beta testers that's around flying it. But what he said was, we got to tweak this, we, but we know that already. That's what he said at the expo. He said it. We got to, because the guy was in the, he was in the, um, the little display trying to click on the mouse and he was talking about the weights and stuff like that and how you connect this. He said, but we're going to put that all together. Now, I'm quite sure people probably emailed them the baby, hey, this is the, that, but like like I was just explaining it to you, they know that already. So even though the email, emails is coming, they, they probably ain't got time to email people back and say, hey, look, yeah, we, we're aware of that. Uh, we got a team on that. These guys are busy. They don't got, they, you know, they don't got time to be, you know, Hey, we, we're trying to get a plane out there. We can't answer emails and then do this. We know what's going on. We da, 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 da. That's, all, that's what I was saying, where let's say that dipping that he did see, they probably already knew, yo, we're working on all that stuff. We got a team that's already aware of that, just like the fly-by-wire team said. Yo, we know that's not going to work. We know this. They, 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 they know. When they put these planes together, they know what they're making. So when that kip, so when that triple seven captain took that plane up, that they had uh, testing their triple seven. So you mean to tell me that triple and that and that triple seven guy, that's physically flying today in a plane today, when he took that thing up for a test, uh, some more beta test or testing it before they physically released it to us to the public, that triple seven guy, 
he didn't see that dip, is what you're telling me. Whatever this type of crazy little wild dip, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get you. But one thing I do know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, they do know it. That's true. They do know. Fly by why? I just said fly by why I said it. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So, 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 so what you're saying to me is even when, um, like, like, let's say the challenger for a second. Have you found any anything out of the ordinary on that? Anything? So, so, so. <laughs> but, but, but you also said that when they built the Challenger, he had a guy who was a Challenger pilot helping him build it. So that guy's wrong. So the, the, the challenge. But but again, those pilots or whoever emailed them, who was to say that the Challenger guy knew this already? And it, he's giving updates. <clears throat> some some people, yeah, I, yeah, that's, no, no, I agree with you saying. What I'm saying is, some of these guys don't give these developers time to update their shit. A plane can come out and people could be like, ah, blah, 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 out the gate. And, and 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 that's why you know what and that that's why fly by wire that's why yeah. no no but i think i no 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 i'm grateful that pmdg corrected it with with the, with their staff what they had to do i'm not yeah yeah with the, with the near staff not with nobody else because my thing is this um, like, 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 like Rob said, me and my team. What I'm saying, what what I'm saying is, they, they. No, ideas is different from me saying a develop. Like, for example, ideas. Like, for example, people was asking about little simple things like having the cockpit door open stuff like that now that's hearing what the public want hey what you guys like yeah we, we would like to open up the cockpit door okay cockpit door okay now but what if pmdg said that already hey a lot of people are developing planes now where the cockpit door is open you know they got a team that sits at the table they come over at the table and they build it. like what, what, what all right we're building this plane what we need to do Hey, why don't we try something new this time? We we never have the cockpit door open. Let's have that open. Okay, okay, let's okay, let's get um somebody on that. We, we let's get the cockpit door open this and the third because yeah, that that is true. That would be nice because all I all these years we always had the cockpit door closed. Now they're at the table building for this, right? But we sending out emails <clears throat> saying, hey, y'all ever gonna have the door open and stuff like that? But, but, but they already talked about this and they already got that in place. That's that's all I'm saying because from Rob, I'm going by what Rob's perspective is saying. He says, me and my team, and I have a paid staff, we, we get things together and we make sure things is right. We're not going to release something that's not blah, 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 blah. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm going by the CEO of what he's saying and how they do things. I can't go by now. It's like Walmart. If Walmart come out, the CEO says, hey, this is what we're doing, something different. <clears throat> we're going to try this. I'm not going to sit here and, and somebody pulls a YouTube video out and there's millions and billions of people out here and that's a big major company and they says, well, I shot them that email and that's why they're doing what they're doing. Well, the guy never said that he shot them an email. I don't know the what method of communication he had with... Um with uh, PMDG, whether it was an, it may have been an email, may have been a phone call, may be a DM, I don't know. Um, you know, but the guy, you know, I think he has some credibility in the community, which is one of the reasons why 
developers listen to them. But that's okay. I mean, you know, um, um, you know, PMDG, they can never um, release a plane with, without a perfect flight model, is, is what I'm hearing. If, if they release it, by golly, that flight model, I, cause, and the reason I'm saying flight model, because you wanted to take the door out and talk about the doors opening. But so. No, I'll talk about the flying dynamics of, of, of the, the way Well, the thing. flight model, the flying dynamics. Yeah, the, right. yeah well, the way right. it takes off. And, That's what I'm saying. And, this thing. And you're saying that, that PNDG got that perfect by the time it's released every time. And, you know. And yeah, yeah. What I mean by perfect, by the time they release this plane, when I'm talking about when I go ching ching with my dollars, mm -hmm. ching ching with my dollars, and I go ahead and taxi, I'm pushing back, and I take off, and I come back in the land. I'm like, whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yes, I gotta go back in and do that again. Man, I gotta fly that again. I gotta push back. Oh man, the thing. That's but I can see you saying that because you've never flown in a a triple seven or or, or an airplane <laughs> for that matter ever okay. in real life. Okay, neither has that dude. He says he's he's seven eighty seven rated. I just looked at him. <laughs> so so how you know that? It don't say nothing about no triple seven to him, All right? So that's like him. He said the same people. The same the okay. same people. Watch this. The same people. Like, like that's like saying a three thirty driver. He's not rated as a triple seven, but when he's talking about the plane, he's talking about the physics. The but he's never flown no triple seven. You talking but, about but, but, wait a minute? But when you say you talking about the physics, check what do you him mean? out. A three thirty driver. He's never flown a triple seven, but he's talking about it. Check him out. Check so, him out. So PMDG, I mean, you say he's talking about driver. the physics. You're talking about right, the texturing and how pretty it look and shit like no, that? No, no, the flying. How is it flying and all that sound? Okay. Check them out. Check them out, though. I've, so I've he's seen, I've seen a 330s videos. I mean, I've yeah, seen but he's a 737 pilot. But mm -hmm. check him out, though. He hasn't flown. But, but he hasn't flown. He hasn't yeah, he's a top yeah, fit yeah, he flew, seven, but he says it flies good, though. Yeah, he started <laughs> off on the 737 and he moved to the A320 and, and actually changed yeah. his name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But but he hasn't flown triple seven though in real life. But check him out though. But, he, but he's giving you the, you know. Oh, and so he says that the triple seven. He, like I yeah, said, he, he, he the, never he flown said, the triple he, seven in real life. But he says it flies perfect. But some of these guys don't. That's what I'm saying. That other guy, he's talking about. He flew a seven eighty seven, right? And and he's seven eighty seven pilot. But he, ninety. And he's been in similar since ninety ninety two. And I'm trying to figure out the seven eighty seven just fucking came out. <laughs> Not too many years ago, so I'm just trying to figure out why. Why are you <laughs> when you do that? Are you still because you're not doing? <laughs> but that, uh, that's another story, though. That's yeah, he flew the seven. Though. He I think he flew the triple seven before he got the seven eighty seven rated. Now rating. Uh, now, that ain't that ain't now. nothing as regular. I looked them up. I'm with, but, but, but maybe maybe you'll but find like that I video. Said, the guy, me, the, and and the guy's blurred. He didn't. He's not giving you all of his background. You need to listen to the guy. Okay, so show me the video so I can listen to him okay. saying he flew the triple seven in the real that. world. And I Thank told you. you I would do that. Okay. Yeah. Be happy yeah. to. Because he's saying he flew the seven eighty seven. I'm talking about what that man that, that's his that's his memo. That's his memo. I'm looking at it. In fact, in I'll fact I'll pull it up for you right now. You wanna pull it up for you? I was just looking at I closed it out. He says he's rated in the seven eighty seven. That's all that's under him. I got that, Ron. I mean I'm not retarded. I got that. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a fuck what he was flying. I'm going by what the man says. He says 787. That's yeah. the way he's, that's I mean, he you flies. Know, he doesn't say nothing about no triple seven. And you know, I don't think I, I don't think you're gonna come out of school and they're gonna put you directly in a 787. I mean, you know, that's just probably you can get not a rating. Matter of fact, you can get a rating in a, from, from you can get a rating from the simulator. That guy that I just told you that does the 737 and the A320 well, says some guys can come well, here and get a rating. Well, that's what he says, man. And well, he does maybe that I mixed my words wrong. I don't think you're going gonna to be able to fly passengers in real life in a 787 fresh out of school. I don't think that's going to happen. I think, I think you're going to have to work your way up to that 737. I mean, that 787. Yeah, from the simulator. Hmm. On a simulator, the simulator and... In on real planes. Again, the guy I sent you the video, you can go back. It's in your Discord. You can get a rating 
when you're in that simulator. He tells you, he says, sometimes guys, you got guys can come in, you can get a rating in a simulator, and um, or you could just come in and just pay the dude to have your fun. He tells you that. He, they do it in Orlando, and they do it in Texas. And Las Vegas got a CIA. And he's with JetBlue, a, a, a real airline. airline. A civil autonomous. Um, they got a CAE center in Las Vegas, too, because I was looking at it. But anyway. Oh. Um, anyway. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know what it is about PMDG and, and just saying, you know, they're, you know, if their product yeah, that got product something is going on with it, not. you don't want to hear it. Yeah, I mean that's like just like X play. You always X play. You like you you you, you when you talk about X play, you like whoa 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 X play. And, and, and I get it. I, <coughs> I don't not. I don't. But what I'm saying is, I I try I to give I try to owner. give everything props where props are due. If I see some oh, short, no 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 no. I if I see the something owner. short, then I have yeah. no problems pointing it out. With be it X plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator. PMDG, Flight Factor, or whoever. But I, what I'm saying is this. Let's say I see something in Microsoft. Hey, Microsoft, when I, sometime the, the airport has little cracks in it, like I'm da-da-da, right? And I emailed them, right? And I emailed them. And then all of a sudden, I do an update, but it is there, right? So I do a video. Yeah, guys. Um, yeah, it was cracks showing in the airport, and I, I had to reach out to Microsoft. And, you know, they fixed it, though. So th thanks to them. Kudos to them. They really fixed that. So my email really went through. And so now I don't I don't see that anymore in the airports and stuff like that. That worked out. But I did the YouTube video. So now when somebody sees my video, they're going to say, oh, yeah, uh, NC Boeing. I, let's say I'm using a makeup name. NC Boeing did that. It was him that did the email. So Microsoft fixed that. That that was good. Thank, thanks to NC Boeing. Uh, we appreciate him doing that because, yeah, it was fixed. Yeah. And see, Bowen did that, yeah. So I, I'm going to say I did that because I, <laughs> well, you know, I reached out to them. You know, you know, that, you know, that's that's plausible, don't you think? No, I really don't. I really don't think that. You don't think? You don't, don't think, think? You know if, how many emails they getting? So I send my email out, and the next I see it fixed, just like that. Well, I see it fixed. I, I, what I believe is they know, you know that because you know it's a, a lot of sometimes it's a matter of credibility too. If 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 you are a big scenery developer and you've got a history of de uh, of developing sceneries and you send an email to them saying, "Hey, you know, I see a problem with this particular scenery," you know, and then they might take it to heart and fix it. But if you just run who they never heard of, and they just get your email out of the millions, that, uh, hundreds, or uh, tens, or uh, whatever the number is, uh, emails that they get, then yeah. it, pro it probably won't make a hill a difference. You know, so, so credibility has something to do with it, too. Yeah, I'm not knocking that. Like, let's say that guy was to come out and say... Well, let's not say... I mean, well, you know. No, no, let's say, no, let's say he comes out and says, well, the PMDG 777 flies way better than the Factor. It, it okay. factors, what's the name? You know okay. what I would say? You know what I would say? What would you say? I, that, that was just, an, that would be a moment of opinion. Because how, how do you say the PMDG flies better than the Factor? What, what is the reasons? See, a lot of people talk like that, but they don't go into detail like that because they don't know what's really up under the surfaces like that, where well, you know, when it comes to coding or what's, or different things like that, because you're going to hear that. Some people are going to say the factor is better than the PMDG. You ever heard, Some people are say PMDG. You ever heard of this guy called Night Train? He, uh, calls, him, he calls himself a Microsoft fanboy, and in every one of his videos, he would tell you straight up, I hate, I hate x -Plane. But, but you, yeah, but yeah, you can't do that. You night can't, train. You can't. I mean, well, I mean, you know, it's a free country. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, right? but he, yeah, that's his opinion. Right, that's his opinion. Yeah. But the point that I, the point that I'm trying to make is, even he give X plane um, props on their flight model. Now, 
I say that to say that 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 the PMDG and the X plane flight model um, are tweaked in different ways. In fact, um, well, I don't want to. I don't. I take strike all that because I don't want this conversation that that to morph oh, no, into a whole different into a whole different debate. No, I won't because I already know they're different shims. They they both different yep. shims. Yep. Yep. All right. That that's something I can't. I I can't. Those are two different like PMD. There's two different planes. The Cessna over here is different to the Cessna over there. It's just two different sims. That's yeah, right. two different sims, two different coatings. You know, it's. I think people is basing it off of 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 what 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 you prefer. That's all I say. If people people say, let's say scenery, then you're gonna pick Microsoft, right? If you're looking at airplanes, regardless if it's the triple seven here or the triple seven there, it's whatever sim you're comfortable with. Because at the end of the day, whatever plane that's over here, it flies decent and correct to its best ability. Just like planes over there, it flies decent and best to its ability. Because at the end of the day, neither one of these planes fly like the damn real plane in general. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's, right. it's, it's right. coding. Neither one. Right. I don't care if it's PMBG or if it's Factor. Neither one of them is nothing identical, identical and parallel to the actual triple seven in the real world. I it, agree. It's software. It's I agree. Software. I agree. It's software. So you're preaching I mean, to the choir. I mean, why? Yeah, yeah. I get yeah, the that's point. all it is. And, and, the and these developers try their best to give us an illusion. That's all it is. Yeah. An illusion. Yeah. To say, okay, guys. You guys ain't doing it in the real world. It's, it's 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 nowhere near it. Not even close to it, right? But it's it's coding. But we're gonna give you guys an imagination and give you something to do, which is a hobby. And and people voice the opinion about why this ain't that, why this ain't that. It's never gonna be that. Never gonna be that. Never, never. It's never gonna be 100% like a real plane because it's not a real plane. It's software, you know. So software don't real plane don't pause and on top of the scent, <laughs> come back and finish off. You know what I mean? So it's never going to be. They, that's why they come up with so many programs like like uh, Simbit, the landing rate or the G factor and all that. It, you know, it's 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 just never going to be the same. That's why me, I just like. That's why I don't like debating. I really don't. That's why I like listening to 330. Them guy, that guy like that, where I don't want to hear no negatives about a plane because it's not nothing near a real plane. That's why I like watching him. If it's, if it's anybody talking about a plane, it's him I will watch. He's the first guy because what he's going to do is he don't compare sim to sim or plane to plane or he don't thrash out negatives. Like, for example, remember I was just telling you about the data button? He'll probably put his mouse over and be like, oh, okay, the data button, okay, can, okay, that's not, that's not pushable, okay. Um, then he goes on to the next thing, and he doesn't talk about it, about it. He's just, he's, so he's just, okay, this is the plane, that he's flying, it. okay, now let's get ourselves a pushback. Well, he's looking at the plane, filling the plane, taxiing it, but he's not giving it, you know, because at the end of the day, it's nowhere near near the real plane. That, that, that's why it's just like, we, we, we get political with it. When I say we, I'm just saying us as humans. It's, um, we, we, I'm sorry, um, I hate I, to cut you off. I think, I, I think the, um, the problem that, that Black Box helped them with is called the, um, the fly-by-wire speed trim system, where, where the plane wasn't trimming right, but, and I'll send you the video, um, so you can see for yourself. Oh yeah. Now, yeah. now, now. Even with the, what I see with the trim, that that even now, I don't know. I haven't I haven't been in a real triple seven. I haven't. Um, I haven't. Yeah, I know uh, that. <laughs> yeah. So so, but I haven't seen a. Cause see me, I get my stuff from videos, and I haven't I know you seen. Do. I haven't seen. I haven't seen a real pilot in the real plane, trim. To get that that what's the name to go? I don't know how the trimming. But, 
I will have to watch a, a video to see a triple seven. Because when you do trip, when you trim the when you trim the triple seven versus the Boeing seven three seven, as soon as you hit the trim on the trim on the yoke, you start seeing the trim come down. It'll come and the wheels will start spinning. You know what I mean? But with the triple seven, when you hit it like one, two, three times, it comes down a notch when you trim it. It don't have that. Remember, this is fly by wire mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. So right. fly by wire. It's not like mm -hmm. it's not like. As soon as you hit the trim, now this I know from by by wire versus you know the the wire, with that thing, it, as soon as you hit it, with the electric trim on the thing, it's a it's slightly delay. It's like a you got to hit it like three times, it, it'll come down three times, and then it'll come down. Now, if it does that in the real triple seven, I gotta see a video. If it does that, that's when I'm gonna be like. Oh, okay. It's supposed to do that. Then I'm gonna leave it alone because I got because it does that now in the PMDG. I was gonna ask you that. It's funny how you said that. I was gonna ask you to jump into your factor and trim that and see if yours is doing that. If it and if yours is doing that, then evidently PMDG and, and factor got it right. That's, yeah, yeah. And, well, yeah. That's I, probably how it goes. Yeah, I, I, the I do know that. With a fly by wire system, there is a little bit more latency in its yeah, response yeah. than in, you know, yeah, things are not as immediate as I'm used yeah, to. Yeah. Which is one of the things that I don't like about the fly by wire system. But I know that the fly by wire system is a superior system because the military use it, you know, and they're uh -huh. fighter jets. So, you know, I'm not. Even even though I'm not a fan of fly by wire, yeah, I do admit that it it's it's probably a it's you know evidence would show that it's a superior system. Um, but that don't mean that I have to be a fan of it. You know, oh, no, I, so, yeah, I agree. I so, agree. You know, um, like I said, but, I, look. Finally, we fi finally we 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 got. <laughs> We, we got to get a show. I swear to God, man. We have so many views, man. But like you said, remember what you said one time uh, with the Airbus and the Boeing? If I, want, if I need to, if I need to turn left, I want to be able to turn immediately, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, right? And in some cases, the Airbus, yeah, it can, but it can't. You know, same thing with the trim. Like when I'm in the Boeing and I, and I need that trim to be there for me, like I need to bring it down. She's coming down with that fly by wire. You you get the trimming, it's like you keep trimming and trimming and you keep trimming and trimming. You keep trimming, you like God, you know, you like hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And the funny thing how you said that, because I wanna say a plane went um it was the foot oh my god, I was watching the show and they was taught about the oh it was about the trimming. And with the triple seven Trim it, let's say it's an emergency and you keep going down, jump, you trimming, you trimming, you trimming. You done hit it so much that you don't realize that um, the nose was it was the it was a show I was watching. Mm -hmm. But they recovered, they recovered. They was hitting the trim so much. Right. I, and that. they never came out the trim. The nose kept like dipping, 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 dipping. And what happened was they never looked at the trim setting because it, it, it went down to zero, but at the last minute. Actually, it was the captain flying, and the other guy was the captain too. And the captain like kind of froze up. And the other captain was, you know, when he took the stick, he was trimming, trimming. But at the last minute, he happened to look down and he saw the trim was out of sync, and he he manually trimmed it, you know, gave it some trim. But when they was taught in the plane, they was taught not to look, you know, it was something about the trimming anyway. But what you just said, right? What you just said, when the, when I trim this thing. It's like when it's trimmed right, it's right. But you'd be like, why is there such a delay in it sometimes? You'd be trimming, 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 trimming. But the plane do come down when you click on it. That's what I don't get. When you give it a little bit of trim, even though you don't see it physically in the trim settings going down, but it is trimming. But you know, what one, the, you know one thing I have noticed, and this is from watching videos, and I could be wrong, I don't know, but I have, but it looks like to me that when I when I trim in the seven thirty seven, uh -huh. 
that no, that trim wheel goes. I mean, it flies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When yeah, I trim, yeah. when I'm watching a video and I and I see somebody trimming <laughs> in the um, in the Airbus, it like it's taking the sweet time. Right, right, like, 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 you know? like, like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, re- cause, cause remember, it don't have a, it don't have a on the Airbus side stick, it don't have a trim button on it. Right. It, it's trimming itself. So you see that right. wheel just uh, kind of going right, slow right. this mm-hmm. way. So, and that's like, now take that into the 777. That's how it is when I'm hitting the trim on the wheel. It's doing that slow inside yeah, the glass. Yeah, sweet time. Mm-hmm. Right, like you like, what the fuck? But when you hit that shit on that triple, on that 727? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that wheel get the... Yep. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's... that's <laughs> That thing, if you have your knee against it, it could remove skin. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I st- I'm still, a, I'm still a fan of the seven three. I, I mean, it's like, it's like the seven three. I don't take nothing from it. Um, nice plane. Um, and don't get me wrong, triple seven. I, it's, it's nice. Let me just say it like that. Whatever, who, who put it like this? Whoever put their hands on it. It, it, I like it. It works for me. Applause to whoever put their input on it. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm liking it, and and you know, enjoying it. It's no problem. Overall, it's a big plane, and sometimes I don't really want to ready to fly this big thing. You know what I mean? I want to get into the seven three seven, you know, or or the Airbus, you know, and that sort of speak. So, I'm hoping that. They released the Max soon because I really want to try that plane out, and because this plane is nice, but it's it's huge, you know. It really is. Speaking of I'm the Max, not. did you see those that that Max picture I sent to you? Yeah, I said that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I flew the Max home. That was you. Yeah. That was you flying on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I was flying on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The Max Eight Seven. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit. Actually, uh, uh, Kia and my other kids, they they flew on. Uh, they flew on it. Yeah. Even out of uh, Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Sunday they came back. It's got a much more modern look than the uh, than the than the seven thirty seven seven hundred. Yeah, I, NG, yeah. 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 I didn't get in yeah, that seven thirty seven nice. eight so. But uh, I flew the 737-700 to there, a 737-700 to, to, um, to Denver. And then from Denver to Raleigh-Durham, the 737 Max 8. 8, yeah, the 8. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. they flew on the 8. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so, so that was uh, – and, yeah, I – I did like it, even though on after it rotated and we were climbing, we got yeah. this real violent vibration for a second or two. Didn't last that long, and and it smoothed out, and that was it. And I, so uh, I, I don't know what that vib, that vibration. <laughs> I mean, it didn't scare me. It, it didn't scare I me know, at I all. Know. I just I know. It, it just I'm like, why is it vibrating? Because it. <laughs> Cause it it didn't hit a pocket of air that made it vibrate yeah. like that, so it just was like riding like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> and then it stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's a characteristic of that airplane rotating and taking off every time was, uh, if it was just something that particular flight did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I live long enough. Maybe I get on another one, and if it yeah. doesn't do the same thing, then I know it was that particular flight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I got to fly Southwest Monday. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Got to get up. You need to get your flight in before before they start coming out with these airplanes is burning hydrogen and natural gas and all that other yeah. stuff. 